What's up guys, I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes, and these are my new boots that I just picked up on a great off-season deal, the DC Travis Rice boots. I had the DC Scout boots, which I rode for a season and a half, and probably will still do some days in. Um, I picked them up, they had a good deal at my local snowboard shop, they recommended them as a great beginner boot, and overall my feet were really comfortable and I was really happy with the boot. For the price, no complaints whatsoever, it was a great boot, but Going into next season, I know my riding's gotten a little bit better, so I wanted a slightly more aggressive boot. My other problem was with the DC Scout, it doesn't have any ventilation system. And as I said in my Ride Concepts Live Wire, which is a biking shoe review that I just did, my feet get really hot and sweaty. And that's one thing I don't enjoy about a snowboard boot because I like to. I mean, if I'm at home, I'm barefoot. If it's summer, I'm in flip-flops. And my feet were getting hot in those boots. The DC Scout, my feet sweated quite a bit, no matter what kind of socks I wore. I tried several different kinds of socks. With these, I put them on, I wore them around the house, and I even strapped into my board and practiced a little bit. Feet never broke a sweat, which, yeah, it's 67 degrees in my house. And these have the Aerotech ventilation system in them. And just for that 10 minutes, you know, jibbing around in the house, my feet didn't sweat at all, and I was completely shocked. Um, they're also really comfortable. I, the DC Scout was comfortable. By no means were they uncomfortable. I never had a day where my feet were sore, but with these, they feel that much more comfortable, if, if that makes sense. Like, I put them on. I thought what I had was good until I had these, and this is like walking on a cloud, and I can't wait to test these out when we have snow again. They also feature the asymmetrical design, so they're angled up a little bit right here and on the heel to help minimize heel and toe drag. The liner is a little bit better than what was on my previous boot, and it features the dual BOA system, which I'm really pumped on. I can't wait to do a full review, you know, once we're back into the snowboard season, but so far, my initial impressions with the Travis Rice boot, super happy, super comfortable, and it's really lightweight. I mean, it, again, not that my other boot was heavy, this one just feels lighter. And it also looks super sick. If you all have any questions, please leave them in the comment box down below and I will be happy to get back to you. This is the DC Travis Rice boot.